Hey everyone, thanks for coming to Art Attack. <clears throat> so today um, we are going to be making a wind chime. I can't really hold it um, the way that you could see it, <laughs> should see it, but um, they're really pretty and we're going to do some spring colors. So I'm going to teach you some uh, tips and tricks on how to do this. Um, but you are welcome to paint yours however you would like. They don't have to look exactly like this one by any means. Um, so feel free to get creative with your wind chimes and then you will be able to hang them outside and when the wind blows, you'll hear a little music. So first of all, in your kit, you should have received the wood wind chimes. I'm gonna go ahead and open those up. There we go, okay. So you should have received your wood wind chimes and they're just plain wood. Um, and then you should have received some paint. So a pale yellow, a light blue, and a baby pink color. Um, those are our spring colors we're gonna be working with. And Again, if you just want to go ahead and paint this however you like, that is totally fine, but I'm going to teach you some tri tricks if you want to make it a little bit more precise. So <clears throat> we're going to start by working on these beads at the top. So what I'm going to do if you have some painting tape, that's going to be really helpful. But you can also use washi tape or you could use paper to help you. Um, whatever you would like to use, whatever works best for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is tape, I'm gonna tape this down actually because that's I think that's gonna help me a little bit. So I'm taking some tape and I am going to rip it in half. I think I might rip it again. And just place it right next to the bead there and we're going to place it right next to this bead here and then we're going to we're going to wait on doing this last bead until later so we're going to start out with these two beads and then these two pieces right here we're going to do this in stages <clears throat> so that there we go just go like that um, so that our colors stay on the pieces that we want them to be on. So I think, so for this one, I did the blue. I started with blue. So I think I'm going to start with pink and then do yellow and then blue. And then I'll, so then this big piece, I'll do pink. So I have my pink. And this does not take much paint at all. So the paint that you have received in your kit should be plenty. And these are really nice, pretty spring colors. Okay, so I'm going to start with the top bead. And as you paint, this is a little tight, taped down a little bit tight. As you paint, you can just, I have to adjust the tape because it's a little bit tight so it's not really turning. There we go. Okay. So you want to just paint it and you don't want it to be too, too thick or else it's going to really be difficult to get it to dry nicely. So you just want to do a thin coat of paint. And as you paint, it kind of spins around. I don't know if you can see that. 
So I think that's covered pretty well. So then we'll go on to the yellow one. And your hands might get a little messy, but that's okay. You can always have a paper towel nearby to wipe off any paint that gets on your fingers. And it works better with smaller paint brushes. So hopefully you have some smaller paint brushes at home. If you don't have paint brushes, you can use Q-tips. There's all sorts of things you could use. Okay, so then um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to these circle pieces right here. So I'm doing pink, yellow, and then the last bead's blue, then this will be pink, so this will be yellow, and this will be blue. So I'm just going to do the top of these for now. So just go ahead and paint the top. And you can paint the sides as well if you would like. You just kind of move move the string as you paint and then if you want to do the sides just make sure that you're doing a very thin layer because if you glob it it just doesn't look as nice and it takes a lot longer to dry the more paint you put on and then we're going to let this dry before we flip them over and do the other side. Okay, so this is how much I would do and then go ahead and wait um, until this dries. So I would say about half an hour, maybe an hour. Um, and then I will come back and show you how to do how to continue on. Um, so at this point, you do want to make sure your paint should be okay. But you might want to close that up. I just don't have anything to um, way to close that up. So what you want to make sure to do is wash your paint brushes because the paint will dry on there and then they'll get really stiff and they won't be able to um, paint as well. So go ahead and wash your paint brushes and then um, I'll come back and show you how to continue. Okay, so we have let our wind chimes dry a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this tape. And I washed my paint brushes. So we're going to go on to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this, uh, this tape down here because I'm going to focus on this last little bead right here. And get some more tape for that and again if you want to rip it in half so I think I'll go kind of like that and then you want to keep it away from the from the other ones so that's nice and loose so that should work um, and then I'm going to go ahead and flip these over because we'll do the other side of these. So I'm going to paint this little bee blue first. And again, just make sure it's not too thick. This one is pretty good now. So while I have my blue, I'm going to go ahead and paint the back of this. And again, if you want to paint yours differently, um, if you want to paint one side one color and the other side a different color, you're welcome to do that. However you want to make yours, it's up to you. And 
this is, again, it's much easier to do this with smaller paint brushes. So hopefully you have some smaller paint brushes at home. If not, like I said, you can use other tools. You can use Q-tips should work. Oops. You could try painting with cotton balls. You could even try painting with your finger, but that would be super, super messy. Okay, let's see. I think I just about have this done. So that looks good to me. So now, again, we're going to wait um, about a half an hour to an hour until this these sections dry. And then we just have um, this big piece to work on next. So that we will do um, one side, let that side dry, and then flip it over and do the other side. So we have a, still have a little bit of ways to go, um, but while I'm letting this dry, I'm going to go ahead and wash my um, paintbrushes again so the paint doesn't dry and get all sticky and gunky on there. Um, and then I will show you how to paint um, the top of this piece um, when the rest is dry. All right, it's been about 45 minutes, so our paint is nice and dry. So we're gonna move on to the last piece that hasn't been painted yet. So I'm just taking off the tape right now. And I think what we will do for this part is take another piece of tape and I'm just going to fold it over on the bottom, put that part on the bottom, and then just kind of wrap it around. So that these top ones don't fall into um, the paint while it's drying. So just give it a little extra room here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just paint the top and the sides. So I'm going to make sure that the little chimes are out of the way. I might use a little bit of tape for that too. So I'm going to do this part pink, so I'll simply just go ahead and I think I'm going to do the sides first actually. Once I get this top piece painted, I'll let this dry and then flip it over and do the last piece of this wind chime. Okay, I think I've got the sides pretty well, and I'm just going to finish up the top here. Okay, that looks nice and even. It's a nice thin layer. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry, and then I will come back and show you how to do the bottom. So the bottom's a little bit tricky because that's where a lot of the strings are. Um, but that will be the last part of this uh, wind chime. And um, don't forget that while this is drying, you want to make sure to wash your paintbrush because otherwise the paint will dry and the bristles and it'll be really hard to paint with in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my paintbrush and I will be back in a little while um, when this has dried. All right, so we are ready for the last step of painting this wind chime. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this tape.
and then we will do the very last part. All right. So it's looking pretty good right now. So this is the trickiest part because of all of these strings that are attached. So just go ahead and kind of get them organized here. It looks to be a little bit tangled right now. So you kind of just want to, here we go. Now they're nice and neat. Okay. So now we know where they're all headed. So we just want to start one side at a time. And we're going to go nice and slow to make sure that this all gets done nicely. So I'm just going to take my pink paint and you're going to go right up to the strings. as needed and if you don't feel like doing this bottom part you probably don't really have to I just like to do to paint every little part of the wind chime because you never know with the wind blowing the wind chime you never know what you're gonna see so I like to paint it but again, it is the bottom, so. Okay, so just keep going and going right up to those strings. So just take your time and move the pieces as you need to. And just slowly go around. This one looks like some of these strings got stuck to the bottom. So I'm just going to paint over those. Okay, and I can, uh, nice thing about already having done the sides is that I actually can hold on to the sides while I paint. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and let that dry and then I will be all done with my wind chimes. <clears throat> and then you can hang it outside or you can hang it in a window, just anywhere where your wind chimes are going to um, get some wind that's going to blow them so that they make that, that pretty little noise. So that is it. That is your finished product. Um, you, As I said before, you are welcome to do this however you like. You don't have to paint your wind chimes how I painted my wind chimes. Uh, feel free to get as creative as you would like to be. Um, and I would love to see how you paint your wind chimes. So if you would like to take a picture of them, especially if they're hanging outside in your yard, um, <clears throat> if you would like to take a picture of them and post it on our Facebook page or tag us on Instagram, uh, that would be great. Our Instagram is NLPL Kids. And Facebook is just New Lenox Library. And I would absolutely love to see what you come up with. So I hope that you have fun with this project. And I will see you in the next project um, for Art Attack. <laughs>